This, uh, the context is, is going also to send you a list of priorities that you need to get. It's not enough to repeat what is essential for us, is to get the essential in a specific context. And we understand what, where we live. We are living in the United States of America and over the last year we got and we heard messages coming that are attacking Islam as an alien religion, a non-American religion. And in Europe, for the last 15 years, everywhere, and you can see this, it's not only in France, because many people are talking about France because they heard about the Hezka. In my country, Switzerland, for four minarets now, they are banning the construction of minarets, saying the Muslims are colonizing. What does it mean, colonizing? That even myself, in a prime time TV program, with someone who is the leader, the spokesperson for the Swiss People Party, he told me, we made a mistake with you, we gave you the nationality. Meaning you are too much a Muslim to be a good Swiss citizen. This is the, this is the narrative behind. And the narrative behind, the rationale behind, is to make it clear, Islam is not a Western religion. You are the other. And this is what we have been facing. And in fact, for years we had the populists and we had the far-right parties saying this. The problem, and be careful, is not only the rise of the populist parties. The problem that we are facing in Europe is the normalization of this discourse among all the other parties. What yesterday was said by the far-right parties and the populists, now is said by all the parties that Islam is an alien religion, that as Muslims, what you want is to colonize the country. You want to change the very essence of our culture as Westerners, as Westerners and as Western countries. This is the, 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 the rationale of all the discourse, and it spread around fears. And uh, people are full of mistrust to a Muslim. 75% of the French, when they hear the, the, the Islam, they think that, uh, about violence. Now, this is what we were facing. And here we are, we are dealing with one who is an extremist from uh, 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 fundamentalist Christians. And he is reading manifesto where it is said that the Muslims are colonizing the country, and in fact, immigration and Muslims are changing the very culture of uh, the, 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 the European country. In a country where no one could have predicted that something could happen in Norway. Because this is not the country, we, they are not used to such violence. And it, uh, uh, and it uh, happened there. What all the people started to say, oh, it's not us, he's only an extremist. So very quick to be innocent and to say he is the guilty, he is the extremist. When it happens with Muslims, you, all the Muslims should say, oh, we condemn it. As if when it comes to someone who is in fact, it's an extremist, yes. He's not representing, but what we should say, if you carry on this discourse about Islam being an alien religion, that we are threatening the very essence of Europe, you are nurturing such attitude. You should also get it right. Your responsibility is to be very cautious. The atmosphere is negative. So anyone who is following a trend could do something which is extreme, extremist, and he can kill. So as European Muslims who have been facing this, listen to what you have now in your country. What you had over the last year, when you had all this controversy about the Part 51 in New York, when you had this uh, uh, burning a Quran day, when in 80 states and now up to 22, we have people who want bills against the Sharia implementation. You might think that they are not going to win. And in many states, they are not going to win. But in fact, they don't want to win. This is not the purpose. The purpose is to spread around the fact that Islam is a danger. There is a threat. So the atmosphere is bad. And you think that you are, we should go for legal uh, advice and resist. Of course, we should do all this. But there is something which is more important. Get it right. 
the conservative, the Tea Party. What they want in, the, is this, in this country is to make Islam a problem. You want the statistics? Just after September 11, 10 years ago, 66% of the Americans thought that this was done by a tiny minority they were not representing Islam. This was the first reaction, and this is why we got such positive reactions by the Americans, saying, no, we are with you. We are ready even to protect your mosques. And they did it. And they were there. Ten years later, with all the work that we are doing, and you should carry on doing this work, now 73% of the Americans, 73% of the Americans think that the Muslim presence in this country is a problem. So it's not a tiny minority, it's Islam now, which is a problem. And if you listen to what is said to about your president, President Barack Obama, it's exactly the doubting his faithfulness to the identity, the American identity. Asking the president, we want to show your certificate of birth. Where are we heading? So I want you to get it right here, that what happened in Norway, and as it was said, the first thing that we have to do is not to be happy that it's not Muslims who did it. It's just to send and to convey our condolences. Condolences. I don't know it comes in French. Condolences. To the people. And to say we are sad and we will never be happy that people are going to be killed. We are against all extremism. We are against violence. We are against killing innocent people. So this is the first thing that we have to do, and we need to mean it. We need to, to get it right. We have to feel that there is something wrong, not to be happy because it's not Muslims. And not even being happy, some were happy that they made the mistake thinking they were Muslims, just to say, oh, we told you, as it was said. So this is the first attitude. And the first attitude is, is this one, is an attitude which is based on our principles. And then we have to think about that, what happened there with all this atmosphere, how are we going to resist? How are we going to respond to this? How are we going to respond to such an atmosphere in the United States of America? And this is where we need to get the central question about the relationship between our faith and the relationship between our faith and our citizenship. Now, we have a choice here, which for me, it's uh, important. When all the, the rhetoric that we have in Western countries now, and by the way, Canada is the same. Before in Canada, it was only in the French-speaking area because they were very much influenced by the French. Now it's not only in Quebec, it's also in the English-speaking area. And immigration is becoming a problem. And when they speak about immigrants, it's not exactly the same here, but now you have a new discourse even in the United States of America that immigration is a problem. While this country knows, all the politicians, they know there is no economic survival for the United States of America without immigrants. It's not possible. We need them. But the discourse is to reject culturally and religiously the people who are coming. You heard about Arizona and what was happening with targeting the Latinos the way it was done. We should not accept this, but there is a discourse. And what, again, is meant by immigration in Europe is mainly Muslims. And you heard about this rejection of the Turkish uh, presence and the integration of Turkey within the EU. It's all the same. We need to have this comprehensive approach. The problem that I have with some of our brothers and sisters when they are working in organization is a lack of this comprehensive understanding, a vision which is responding to the comprehensive understanding. When you have a comprehensive understanding, you understand who is playing, that there are many players. Some, they have an interest by making the Muslims outside the mainstream in the, the states because they have a problem with the Middle East. Some others, because they have a problem here with culture and religion. We need to know who are the players and at the same time be clever with the people who are attacking us and respectful towards the people who ignore us, who don't know about us. Our fellow citizens, they need to be taught. They need to know more about Islam. We need to respect their questions. 
terminé.